Okay, guys. So I wanted to, I wanted to show you what happened with this CR10 uh, heat bed. Uh, eventually, what happened? I mean, I was getting flawless prints, and then suddenly, I've noticed that there's a big flaw with this system um, that there's no tension relief, and also at the same time that things that are made in China they're built only for uh, quantity, not real quality. Okay, so this right here is kept on tape. So I thought this thing was a little bit more complicated than than things, but it's really easy. Okay, so this wire right here was great. What happened is I was putting in an, uh, the temperatures and the, the, the heat bed would not turn on and therefore my printing would not turn on. It would not go on uh, because I, I needed it at 60 and it would be stuck at 30. So I had no idea what was going on. So this is what happened. Literally the heat bed, I mean, where's this thing? If you could see it, it burned. Wait, hold on here. Let me see here. It burned the plastic, which is crazy. Came right off from this, except they had a little part here. I took it out because now I'm going to be soldering it. But basically, it goes right here, the red wire, okay? Look what happened to it. I mean, I didn't take this out. This literally burned. It, you see it. It's like black. It burned from the heat bed. Uh, the heat bed, <laughs> like, it, it, it just burned it. So I don't know. I mean, they said they're going to send me a new uh, wire. And I'm going to see what the hell's going on. I mean, it's pretty easy to put together. It's not, you know, rocket science here. I think anyone could do it, really. So I'm going to be soldering this baby right now. Uh, what I advise you to do is <laughs> I tried to do it while it was on the bed, so it was kind of hard to do it upside down. But I managed to do it a little bit, but then, you know, it just went out again. So I'm just, I took out the whole bed. Just be aware, okay? And when you take out the screws... Just in case, because if you're all happy and stuff and you don't remember how, make that little bumpiness. That's the one where the bed lies on, you see, and the screw comes right off. Uh, it really pissed me off that I have to do this. And as you can see right here, all the other ones here, they're pretty cool. I mean, this one kind of, I guess this burned, this even burned a little bit of this, which is freaking crazy. Let me just see if I could get it in focus. I cannot get this damn thing in focus. So anyways, um, I'm going to probably solder this a little more, uh, you know, put a little aluminum on this baby a little more. And uh, be sure not to touch this, obviously, so just get it onto here and get it working. Um, they're really nice. The company is extremely nice. They said they're going to send me a new wire completely. So, like I said, I w I'm a beginner in this, and then I built my 3D printer, so I'm really happy. I learned how to do parts, but I... I the heat bed always came to me, you know, together with the wire. Now I'll be able to take it out and put another one in whenever it comes or even use it as a spare. I'm going to try to get this thing really good, uh, you know, really nice, nicely on and see what the hell happens. But, I mean, I'm really, I'm, I'm kind of ticked off at this because um, I know that uh, Made in China parts, I didn't know this was Made in China because they said it was uh, in, in America or whatever. But uh, this is a Made in China part. And the thing is... They build it in qu in quantity, but not in quality. You get my point? Now that doesn't mean it's it's bad. I mean it's it's good. You're getting cheap items, whatever, and uh, it teaches you a lot. But I uh, that's one of the reasons I like made in USA crap. So then when you when you get you know when you get stuff, they, they'll give it you know they'll give it to you within a week or whatever. You'll get quality back or whatever, and all that stuff, and it's just easier. With them, they have an American market, but they said this part was made in China, so they got to give me this part from the Chinese branch. So until it gets to me, it'll take months. She pre she told me if I could solder it on my own. I said, of course I can, but I'm awaiting the uh, thing. So the customer service is great. Don't get me wrong. I really love the customer service, uh, but there's an issue, obviously. And if, if you don't know how to solder or whatever, you got a problem here. Uh, it's really easy. Just get a soldering iron and a, and a little bit of this, uh, where is this crap, uh, aluminum. Uh, I, I have to look for it now because I went all crazy looking for this shit. But... Uh, that's about it so you just get that aluminum thing it's like these little rolls you can buy them i'm gonna link you in the description below uh, oh what am i doing look at this this uh, i'm so pissed right now i can't even see it so this is the aluminum <laughs> okay so basically you just got to make a little puddle and connect it together and that's it the thing is what you got to know is like i used to do mod chips back in the day with the playstation if you have more than one to do just to not burn the board, a uh, uh, motherboard or whatever. This isn't a motherboard, so I don't think you have to really worry. But always give it about 15 minutes before you solder another thing on. And what I would rather you guys do also is try to close this one with a tape. 
I'm not gonna do that because I already know what the heck I'm doing, but just in case, so you don't fuck it up. I don't know if it will fuck up, but just in case, you know, the, to not touch anything. So it, it's good to just uh, pair them out, but take it out, see what happens, and let me know if it works for you. If any of you guys had the same problem with the CR10, uh, heat bed uh, because I got the CR10 heat bed because I really liked the way it looked It was a good dimension for my printer and I really you know it, it prints out beautifully I mean, I really uh, I mean uh, the, the, the heat bed really assists me in, in printing beautiful uh, Stuff uh, with ABS and everything so I really do dig it. It's a great item But the thing is I mean come on y'all uh, it burned the freaking plastic. I don't even know how the hell that's possible I mean that never happened to me ever in a heat bed. So I mean Maybe something happened that I didn't see. Maybe it wasn't this. Maybe because it was going back and forth, back and forth, it rubbed on something. Because there's a lot of improvements that need to be in the CR10 model. Uh, and, and you could 3D print these uh, things, like one that relieves the stress, and I should have done it for that. So you 3D print these upgradable parts for it. But I don't know why they didn't come out with it or, you know, originally, uh, how they didn't see that that was going to be a problem. So what it does is it pulls, it pulls, it pulls, it pulls, and probably what happened is it, it kept rubbing it out, and maybe that's what happened. But the fact that it has black over here kind of fucking worries me. I mean, that's like a burn right there. Unless it happened from the uh, from this, like this thing melted here, and it caused that. I don't know, but it kind of worries me a, li a little bit. Uh, but, you know, I had no issues. I mean, all these printing days, I think it probably did come from this. It looks like this thing melted. Yeah, look at that. It's coming apart, so this does look like it can melt. And that's what probably happened. It just kept rubbing against it, and bam, that thing, the, you know, it ripped it. I mean, the way it ripped it, it was so fucking annoying, because it ri this little part here stayed on, and this little thing just tore off, so it was so hard to connect. So I just plucked that bi bitch right out, and now I'm going to put this thing together. So I'm losing about a couple centimeters here. Which I'm not liking. Uh, I don't like it when that happens. I like to have a little bit more uh, space because this is short as it is. My room is a fucking filthy mess because I took apart everything, got the plastics out, all that stuff. So anyways, let me know if you guys had the same issue. I mean, if you did, it's a pretty easy fix. If you don't know how to solder, I mean, it's really simple. You just put the soldering iron, you put this baby on the soldering iron and makes this little bubble and then you just connect the bubble to this and this and that's it that's really all you all there's to it uh and uh probably a shrink wrap would have been good on this thing but i don't have any on me and then you could just take an air gun to it and that's it so i'll link you to the description below of the uh review i did about a uh, awesome soldering uh, iron with a heat gun so you guys could get the best of both worlds but i'm gonna just give it a regular solder right here and when i get the new um wire uh, I'm going to just have it as a backup, and whenever this thing gives me trouble, I'm just going to reprint it. This is capped on tape, so this is really a nice tape uh, you can buy as well. So I recommend doing that if you're starting off all over. So as you can see, I solder it like a, you know, not looking pro, but actually like a giant rock. And then it just stays stuck that way. Now we're going to test this baby out. Okay, we're gonna test this baby out now. Set it up to 60, so I don't burn my hands. I'm gonna shut it off before it gets there, but 31 right now. Let's see how this baby goes up. 32, there you go. Heat bed's working, but we're gonna just 33, yep, it's going up. So once it hits 40, I'm gonna shut it off, so that's pretty much proof it works. I just don't wanna burn my hand on the, because it's exposed metal right now. 35. So the heat bed's working perfectly. 36. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. 39 and 40 we know already it's gonna work there you go all right so that's pretty much uh, the whole thing so as you can see it works uh, great customer service I'm waiting on the new wire see guys now I put now I put it back I even cleaned my glass up I figured why not <laughs> 
and everything's working just fine. Remember that you have to balance it out. Now I know I made a little bit of mistake in the beginning. So instead of putting the spring on top, I put it in the bottom and then I realized, I'm like, why is this thing so far off? So uh, then I realized that the spring has to go on the top and then go right through that metal plate and then into that. Uh, nobody uh, put me pictures or anything like that, so I just figured it out on my own and I wanted, if anybody else is lost, that they can do it. Now you're going to have to, uh, I never, never had to level it, only the first time. Uh, and I've been doing prints non-stop and I had no issues. With my other one, the A-Net 3, the A3, I had to always do it almost all the time. With this, you don't. Uh, but now, when you put this in, when you're redoing the whole thing, you're going to need to rebalance this baby. So I did, and as you can see, it looks really, really nice. Uh, the first layer is coming out really great. Uh, you know, a little, uh, there's going to be no stringing though, you know, but that's like the first uh, thing I always, uh, based, based on my settings, make sure you check that out. I get really good prints, and there's a reason the way I do things, but it's coming out really beautiful, and I really like the way my glass looks now after I cleaned it after all these damn prints. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, dislike. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.